in this video we are going to discuss about twisted prime or not whether the given number is twisted prime or not okay our problem is for given n numbers finding the twisted numbers and displaying them in sorting order like ascending order for example there is a sample input for given n numbers here i am taking n as 7 so that 7 numbers are 11 12 23 19 7 one one three one not one as displayed here. So in which I am going to print the twisted prime numbers only. Twisted prime numbers means whether we all know that for given a number as yes, it is a prime or not. Twisted prime means that given numbers reverse of the number is also a prime number. Then only it's called as a twisted prime number. So to know about twisted prime number we have to uh, do reverse of that uh, given number so first of all reverse of the number and then we have to know that whether for given number it's a prime or not is prime or not so i'm going to discuss two additional methods uh, reverse of a number and uh, is prime so first we are going to then uh, do reverse of the given number for example if the given number is 123 uh, i am using that logic initially i am initializing a reverse variable as 0 and we are taking the remainder of the given number by using by dividing the number with 10 we are taking modulus of that number and it divides it by 10 so it gives me 3 like that our logic is we are going to use reverse equal to reverse into 10 plus remainder value we are taking uh, remainder values for each iteration here is the example so initially it is 0 then it is taking the first remainder that is 3 then we are going to uh, take the another remainder 2 by multiplying the previous re reverse number with 10 it gives us 32 likewise we get the reverse of the given number as 321 for an 123 it gives 321 okay let me discuss about coding sublime test editor this is my sublime test editor after that i am going to execute this program in eclipse okay first of all i am going to uh, declare my main class main class that is prime number in which i am going to i am going to declare three methods first one is reverse number then is prime number then is twisted prime or not is twisted prime number then our main method our driver code as main method so first i am going to discuss about reverse number so it gives uh, it returns the integer value so for given n it gives the integer value that is reverse of that n for example if n is on 23 it gives 321 so initially we are going to initialize our reverse variable as into 0 and taking another variable as remainder so while n greater than 0 we are taking remainders like i mentioned pre earlier like this we get the reverse of that number okay then finally we are going to returning the integer value that is reverse variable so returning reverse after that is prime or not as we all know prime number rather it is only divided by itself and one so if it is less than one we are going to returning the false so this is prime method returning the boolean value that is false or true only taking as a false for one it is not one is also not a prime that's why we are take uh, returning false value if it is less than or equal to three that means two or three two is a prime number uh, as well as three also that's why we are returning three so else else if it is another number not even uh, one or less than one or three or less than 
basically in another case in another scenario we are going to go to the initializing i value as 2 we are considering from uh, 2 to uh, that square root of n that is a mid, mid, mid value of the number for example for we are going to do from 2 to like the 10 by 2 5 up to 5 remainders values we are checking whether it is giving 0 or not if it is giving 0 that means it is not a prime value for that uh, an example for i equal to 0 i equal to 2 our uh, 10 by i that means 10 by 2 returns uh, as a remainder 0 so that means it is divisible by 2 also and we are going to return the false in another case it doesn't go to that uh, if and uh, enter into the if block if the condition is failed. So another case we are going to return the true value for prime numbers. So after that I am going to declare my is twisted prime method. So in which I am taking the in, uh, parameter as n and returning the boolean value is true or false it is a twisted prime or not so if not is prime of n that means that means if is prime of n equal to equal to false okay if it is false we are going to return the false then returning reverse also prime that's why we are going reverse number of n is also prime is prime then only it returns the true in another case it returns the false so coming to the main method we are declaring scanner object coming to the main method we are declaring the scanner object as to read the input from the user or keyboard okay and then we are going to uh, n numbers, set of numbers. That's why I am taking an integ uh, integer array, that is num. So, for storing the prime numbers, a twisted prime numbers, I am declaring a array list of type integers called as here is the first line says how many number of inputs you are giving. Here I mentioned 7. So, 7 input variables. So, n equal to 7 here. Okay. Then, for from i equal to 0 to less than n, that means 0 to 6, total 7 numbers. I am taking for uh, array number, num of 0, num of 1, like that, it will store the all, all the input 7 numbers into our array. After reading that inputs, I am going to close my scanner object. As not close then a method twisted frame for all the numbers inside the array. So is twisted prime of number of i that means is twisted prime of num of zero first element, then one, two, like that. Test all the save that into my array list num two. Num two dot add num of i. We are going to add that number into the num two. So we need to sort the twisted prime numbers. It is only ascending order. So that's why. I am taking collection collection dot sort of num2 here number two. After that, I am going to print out the all the numbers, all the prime numbers inside the num2. In a sense, size plus the case less than m2 dot size. So for example, here here our num2 taking uh, less than 4 means 0 to 3. So the loop runs from 0 to 3, it prints the all the numbers stored in the num2, num2 dot get. Okay. I am going to execute this programming eclipse. So here is my eclipse with the same code will be placed here to execute uh, an eclipse program. So for Java application alt shift x, then you need to choose J for Java applications. Alt shift s then Hit J. So it is going to run. So it is run completely run successfully without any warnings and errors. So I am giving that sample input. Seven numbers I am taking like the previous. 
11, 12, 53, 1. So it is going to display the prime numbers in a sorted order. Twisted prime numbers in a sorted order. That's all about this video. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, please do like, subscribe, and share to your friends. Thanks for watching. Hope you see you in the next video.